Most historians agree that the first appearance of the shape and style of the blade, which we call Nipponto, took place somewhere during the 8th century. This development is credited to Amakuni, who lived in the province of Yamato. Since the creation of the Aijutsu by the famous master Isasa Choisai Ienao, Japan has now a new concept related to the art of the sword. Yaijutsu is characterized by specific studies direct towards the reasoning of warfare, which possess a vast array of styles and formulations that survived over the centuries, being known as Koryu or ancient flow. Yaijutsu is specifically the art of drawing the sword and then cutting with perfect execution of both movements. Due to the speed, an attack could be accomplished. Yaijutsu came to occupy a very unique and important position within the way of the sword. The development of Yai in its arrangement as Bato Jutsu is generally attributed to Hayashizaki Jinsuke Shigenobu, but the fact of having lived in the 17th century makes these techniques appear delayed in their discovery. Although having extremely important strategic features since it will enable significant advantage in having an effective cut followed immediately by the Sayabiki, either aggressive or defensive in nature. Nowadays, is not considering the practice towards war so literally, it is natural that the practice of Yaijutsu would be one of the many mirrors for the practitioner's individual nature, as in other Japanese art. Through the sword, one's experience and interior are reflected. Many believe that through the observation of a sword in motion, you can know the spirit that directs it. For the elder master, it is through it that the whole character of a student flows. Although not deepening in the vast nature of personality and its attributes, for the practice of the sword, the ideal for the human being is to be flexible, being capable to adopt any of the stands, introverted or extroverted, when appropriate, and to perform in equilibrium within the two of them. Such as introverts that focus primarily on their own thoughts and feelings within their internal world, tending to introspection, the danger for such people is to go too deep in his own internal world, losing or making tenuous the contact with the external environment. On the other hand, the predominance of the extroverted stance can lead the practitioner to focus exceedingly on what's around, ignoring his internal universe and being more susceptible to the influence of others. In the path of the sword, Neither the inside nor the outside world should be ignored. Both mind and body must work in perfect harmony, otherwise the practitioner will be sentenced to an illusory practice not consistent with reality and with the essential characteristics of the art that compose the Jutsu. The starting point of it all is the energy of the Hara, Ki, which is reflected in the hands and then set in the performance of the sword. Churyoku, the main of strength, related to the Hara, the grip established in the Tsuka may represent either success or failure during a confrontation. The spot where the two forces of yin and yang, represented by the flow that follows the arms, is received, is the recipient of key energy, which should flow throughout the whole extension of the sword. If we reason through this bias, we will see that the Hara at this moment concretates and dissolves the energy transmitted by the cut and attack movement. The cutting in the air allows the energy to flow in an orderly manner, but the Hara dissolves the force through the motion with no difficulty. During a confrontation, or even when executing Tameshgiri, the Hara focuses the power and expands it through its explosion. In the space between both hands, the first form with a relaxed 
Hara offers no resistance and ends by which the sword is held. The path made by energy finds no obstacles or tensions. In the second form, when the Hara is contracted, even unintentionally, the concentrated energy doesn't flow and the body naturally tensions the muscles, blocking the passage of key energy which through few waves lies within this existing area between the two hands.